So I've been kind of keeping out of the whole DK Oldies drama. You know, not really talking about it too, too much. I know that a lot of people made videos on them, covered them to death. So I've been kind of just keeping away from all that. Well, I do want to make one video talking about this because we are a tech channel. And, you know, even though we're not into the whole retro game industry, I will tell you right now that, yes, in fact, they are a scam. So... As I said, yes, you have Review Tech USA, you have Jacob R, you have, of course, Austin Evans now, Shockwave, and then this one guy, I forget his name, who uh, unboxes, he uh, takes apart consoles and puts them back together. Nonetheless, though, it's kind of known at this point that they are a scam. This is why I've not really talked about it too, too much. But I do want to talk about this video today by Austin Evans. Because like I said before, you know, if you want to go watch all these other videos, Review Tech USA does an amazing job, Jacob R does too, where they're showing interviews with previous employees of the company that talks about their processes and how they want told to clean consoles. And the whole problem with these is not the fact of the price for this console is $109 or the price of, you know... The GameCube's $140. The PS3, which I could probably buy brand new for $200 right now, is um, $214. That's not really the problem problem. It's really the fact that when you click on every single console, it does say refurbished. And, you know, the whole thing is everyone is calling them out on is that does not say, it's not actually refurbished. These consoles are disgusting inside. The thermal paste on change. I mean... I recently bought two X original Xboxes for around 40 bucks each, which, yes, you might ask, how much does the original Xbox cost on their website? $194. I took apart original Xbox, two of them, right? I bought them for two, a lot of two, for $60 total. Took the whole things apart, changed the thermal paste. That right there probably cost me like, I don't know, $10, $15 of thermal paste, right? Not a big deal. I also had to buy Gugon uh, to get actually the thermal paste off. It's original Xbox thermal paste is absolutely god awful. You have to literally use Gugon and slowly pry it off um, of the GPU and the CPU. I will say overall wise, is it a hard process? Not really. Uh, the really the hardest part is when you take everything out. You have to get the clamps off of the CPU and the GPU cooler. And those are the most difficult parts. Main reason why is because I say the CPU is not that hard. But the GPU is because the GPU, you have to not only get the clamp off. Which, to be honest, is more annoying to put back on than it is to take off. But you actually have to uh, pry off the little silver case. And that's the difficult part. Um, but again, like I said, $15 to change thermal paste. $15 to open it up. Um, and then of course I modded mine, so I was, I modded both of them, so I ended up, you know, getting obviously the soft mods, the simple Tony Hawk, um, Pro Skater, you just put it in there, uh, USB, a little USB dongle, gave a new 2 terabyte hard drive, that probably cost me $150 total, all of that, so reality wise, I completely refurbished the console, blew it out, Cleaned it up, made it look good, made it look sparkling, and I probably spent around $180 on all that. And I got two consoles doing that, by the way. So I got two consoles out of that. You get one console with DK Oldies for $194. And if you watch Review Tech USA video, you will actually see that, yes, his console was not even clean. And the disk drive didn't work. The disk drive was broken. Which, to be honest, is actually very common. If you have a Philips disk drive... In your original Xbox, it's going to most likely be broken. There is different disk drives. You can actually buy some online if you want to replace it. But there are different disk drives that work and some disk drives that do not work. And some of them that do not work, you're going to have to worry about that. Um, because they will break. And when they break, unless you have a modded console where you can install games, you can't do much of anything. So anyway, this is of course the 360. And again, like I said, listen, the price overpriced, right? So let's go back to the, uh, Austin Evans video. So Austin Evans videos, as you can see right here, he buys every single console imaginable. So he buys a $100 Wii, a $130 GameCube, a $200 PS3. He buys a $114 Xbox, right? So he buys every console. 
And as he says, for most of the consoles, like the Wii, kind of looks a little weird, but it looks, you know, pretty much clean and okay. The GameCube, the same way. But then you get the PS3 and the original Xbox right here. Now, the problem with the original Xbox is that the thermal paste, if it is not replaced, especially, I believe this right here is a Falcon model. It might be a Falcon? It might be a Falcon model that actually gets Red Ring of Death very easily. And you have to replace the thermal paste or else you are going to get Red Ring of Death no matter what. So that's the biggest problem. Is that if you buy this console for $114 and let's say you're gaming or you're using it, whatever. You have a chance of going ahead and it breaking and getting Red Ring of Death and you're GG done, right? Now he does take it apart, he shows how inside it does look like it's clean. And I will say one thing that's a biggest issue with a lot of people are saying about DK Oldies is that they do not clean their consoles, which we're going to see in a PS3 in a second. But uh, with this Xbox, it looks like it was clean other than the fans. You can see how dirty they are. Um, but the biggest problem, of course, is the thermal paste. And that is the biggest takeaway is that if this thermal paste is not replaced, <laughs> it will get ring Red Ring of Death. And your console can go from, oh, I just bought a $114 console to broken within 20, 30 minutes. Um, that's the biggest problem with these uh, Falcons early models. Um, but if we go ahead and skip forward, that's not the biggest issue, right? This is the biggest problem. So he has a PS3 right here, PS3 Slim. And when he does, first off, the, the ejector tray thing, the door is broken. That's a big, big problem because if you can't close that you can't read disc um that's the biggest issue right here you can see he does go ahead and push it up and down and he finds out later it's because a little a black plastic piece broke off in there which is really the problem but this is the <clears throat> yeah this is the biggest issue you guys could probably see this right here this whole entire thing is disgusting I mean, this is, you did, did not even refurbish this. This is not cleaned, okay? Not even a close to cleaned. I bought a, um original Xbox for around 20 bucks off of Macari. <clears throat> and when I bought it, I bought it um just used, right? And the guy even said, he's like, hey, listen, I have a house. I smoke a lot. You know, there's probably some tar in there and dust in there. It was caked with dust and with um, cigarette smoke. All over the bottom. Whole entire bottom of the console. Caked, right? It took me, I want to say, two or three hours to get every ounce of that off, right? So I understand that some of these consoles they're getting is, it's a little it's a little difficult. It's a little time consuming to, you know, really cake in on these consoles and, you know, get them clean. But you're going to have to. If you're charging $200 for this bad boy, you can't be just letting this stuff slide and say, well, you know, it is what it is. Um, no, this has to be, this stuff right here is unacceptable. Cigarette smoke caked on, uh, yeah, you can't really, it's going to take too long if you're a company, right? You're going to just take the loss if somebody returns your device. But for this stuff, this stuff has to be fixed. I mean, come on, man, you have to fix this. And then he can, like I said, this is where it shows off right here. So this plastic piece right here is broken. It's a black plastic piece. It's actually sitting in limbo right now. And it's broken. And that's why the disc tray is not working. Um, this is disgusting. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Like, I have cleaned in my life at least 20 or 30 PS3s. Not exclusively slims i will definitely say i've i really have done the big fat ones and then the obviously the um the regular ones i don't say regular ones but not the slim ones you guys know what i'm talking about i have cleaned those mainly i've only cleaned like a couple of slims but i will tell you right now that this is not a crazy hard process to get through and to completely tear down and clean if you have compressed air it's literally within milliseconds it feels like but a lot of it is going to come down to just simply, you know, wiping it down and cleaning it. And like I said before, I understand if you're a company that you're like, hey, listen, we're going through 100,000 of these a day. Obvious exaggeration. We're going through a lot of these a day and we're trying to just get it done with, get the item out and not make the, you know, buyer wait for this stuff. But this is why you hire a lot of people. This is why you get a lot of employees and you give the employees strict jobs to do these certain tasks because... 
you can't let this stuff happen. I mean, this is disgusting. And if you spend $200, $212 for this, and this is what you get, this this is a scam. I mean, for our intents and purposes, are they scamming you in the aspect you're getting nothing for what you're paying for? No. You're getting an item, and based on what we have seen from Review Tech USA, is that sometimes the item does not even work. So that would be a scam, technically. They're saying it works and it doesn't work. But they're saying that this is refurbished, and it's not. And that is that part is a scam, okay? They're misleading the consumer and buying items that are not true. Nonetheless, though, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.